Hello and welcome to this edition of Press Conference. I'm your host, Jim DiLorenzo, the principal of Jim DiLorenzo Public Relations. You can find me online at jimdilorenzo.com. I have found that my career in public relations is my true vocation, telling the stories of my clients and colleagues in a compelling way to drive sales, membership, and awareness. I've been blessed in my career and I have many ideas that might be helpful to you. Please feel free to contact me directly, either by email at jim at jhdenterprises.com or by cell phone or text message at 215-266-5943. I would enjoy a conversation with you about public relations and how it might help you. You can also find me online on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. As I've said, in my career I've had the good fortune to meet many interesting people, athletes, entrepreneurs, reporters, coaches, authors, executives, editors, entertainers, and innovators. As all of us are in a period of reflection, regrouping, and rethinking of our professional and personal lives at this time, one idea that I have embraced most recently is taking better advantage of the platforms like LinkedIn and Zoom to interact with my clients, my colleagues, and my friends, but also to expand my network, my contacts, and my business. My guest today is one of those people that I have met along the way this year. Stephen Wasik is the CEO of Victory Gear. Steve has an over 30 year history of success at blue chip companies, including Cadbury Schweppes and Chanel, as well as building startup ventures and jumpstarting stalled businesses, both in the United States and internationally. He is an award winning strategic marketer, proven adept at building winning brands. He jo joined the team at Victory Sports, excuse me, Victory Gear in 2015 after outstanding success with diverse consumer product categories, including food, beverage, health, beauty, toys, sports, outdoor and household goods. Backed by 10 years of research, Victory is the world's first high performance insole, scientifically proven to help athletes run faster, jump higher and train smarter. The unique patented design is made from aerospace grade carbon fiber and was originally developed for the USA Olympic bobsled team to help them with their explosive starts. Now the product is being used across virtually all sports and by all levels of athletes from Olympic gold medalists to weekend warriors. Victory is the most innovative and most researched insole in the world. In addition to its performance benefits, the product also helps to reduce injuries. Uh, with 41% fewer foot injuries and 22% fewer lower leg injuries in a study of 263 NCAA Division I football players over a full season. This added protection comes from increased support, stability, and shock absorption. Sports medicine experts around the world are recommending victory insoles for help in recovery from injuries such as plantar fasciitis, turf toe, shin splints, ACL, MCL, and meniscus problems, and even lower back pain. I'm very pleased to welcome Steve to my show today. Steve, I'm very interested in hearing more about what you've been doing with Victory Sports in the last couple of years and some of the new markets you're going into. Well, thanks, Jim. I feel like you've said it all. I don't know what's left for me to talk about, but uh, no, thanks very much. We're, we're pretty excited. Uh, I joined Victory back in 2015, and as you said, I've been around for quite a while in many different categories, and what attracted me to the company was this really dynamic, unique product in a category that I really love, which is sports and helping athletes perform to the best of their abilities, but also helping them stay healthy and on the field. So uh, one of the other attractions was the people, you know, again, at this stage of my career, I want to work with people who I like and trust and the Archeola family uh, started this business really out of their basement. Matt Archeola is the certified pedorthist for the U.S. Olympic bobsled team. And they brought the product to the pen relays and to the SEC meetings to meet with athletic trainers. And they really like what they heard. And um, so after selling the product literally out of their basement for about a year, they got serious and they raised some capital and they found me to be uh, their CEO. And that was, you know, we officially kicked off the business in 2016. Wow. Now, you said that uh, Mr. Archiello was the trainer, came up with this idea. Um, it's my understanding that they've been, the family's been in the shoe business for a long time, is that correct? 
Yeah, yeah, it really is a great family and a great story. Uh, so they've owned the Archeola Shoe Store in downtown Milford, Connecticut for 100 years, four generations. Wow. And actually their name Archeola means arch builder, which obviously has something <laughs> to do with feet and shoes. Um, and, you know, Matt said to the coach, I'd love to be able to help the team win more gold medals. What can I do? And the coach said, basically, you know, if the driver makes a mistake, we lose the race. If, uh, if we have a bad sled, if we have a mistake, you know, with the sled, then we lose the race. But what you can really help us with is the, the start. Uh, and you probably remember Herschel Walker and some of the great track athletes uh, who basically have that propulsion explosiveness at the start of the race. Uh, before they jump in, I think it's about 20 or 30 steps they take. Right. So he developed this product. Um, it was several years ago, actually, before we started. And it took him probably five to 10 years of R&D and working with the elite athletes before he honed in on this product. And uh, and it, then he got the patent for it in uh, in 2015. And you come along, you've got your experience in all these different industries and uh, segments and a lot of consumer uh, products. And how did they connect with you? Yeah, I'm actually part of a, an organization in the Northeast called the Executive Forum. And I think we have about 500 CEOs, CFOs, and uh, one of my colleagues told me about it. And again, I was fascinated by the product and I should probably show the product. Maybe that would help people understand. <laughs> this is actually, hopefully you guys can see this. This is a carbon fiber plate. This is the magical piece. And you can see how super thin it is. It weighs less than one ounce. And this is the finished product here. So it's actually got a nice comfortable top cover. But the magical piece is this carbon fiber piece. And as it works is as the athlete bends his or her foot to run or jump, you get that propulsion, that explosiveness. Wow. And so athletes feel it as soon as you put the, the victory insoles in their shoes, they feel that added explosiveness, that added support, stability, and shock absorption as well. So as an athlete is running or jumping, it's literally like putting springs in their shoes. And the other nice thing about the product is we have uh, quite a bit of customization. So okay. different levels of uh, spring, I'll call it, because you know, a 100 pound cheerleader doesn't need as much spring or push as a 300 pound nose tackle. Sure. And we also have different top covers. So we have this red one here, which is designed for soccer and track, which are very tight fitting shoes. And then we have a cleated pair, which is a, a little bit thicker than the soccer pair, but again, tighter fitting than a basketball shoe or a running shoe. So when somebody comes to our site, they enter in their shoe size, their body weight, the sport they're going to play, and we have an algorithm that actually determines what the right product is for that particular athlete. Wow. Now, I think we have some pictures that I would like to show of some of the athletes who are using the Victory insoles at this point. Um, I think these are two uh, track and field athletes, or, or are they football players? I'm not sure. Well, those are football athletes, I believe. I think it's DK Metcalf and AJ yes. Brown. Yes. And uh, yeah, they, they started using, I believe, uh, victory insoles at the NFL Combine, and they both put up some super numbers, and I believe they're both still pretty much fans of the product. Right, right. now we have uh, athletes at over 300 pro and college teams uh, who are using the product. Sometimes they discover it in college. Sure. LSU has been using our product for, I think, going on five years now. And sometimes they discover it at the NFL Combine. Sometimes they discover, you know, their athletic trainer sure. at the pro level uh, tells them about our product. It's very interesting, and it's a real word of mouth process. Now, we have a college volley a women's volleyball player, I believe, here. Yeah, that's Jordan Larson. So she is the uh, U.S. Olympic team captain. And she said she loves it a lot. Actually, volleyball is one of our top sports uh, because the athletes get an extra 1.6 inches on average in vertical. Wow. And that can mean the difference between, you know, winning a spike or a block and losing one. Sure. Uh, but Jordan, now she's been, I, I don't want to give her age away. I know that wouldn't be polite of me. But uh, she said, you know, she's been playing for many years. And besides the extra vertical, she really loves the cushioned landing because, you know, the these volleyball players, they do so much jumping. Sure. Uh, and it takes such a beating on their knees, hips, ankles. So this added shock absorption helps to reduce injuries. Fantastic. And now I think the next photo we have is, is this a track and field athlete, I believe? 
Uh, let's see. I'm not sure. I, you know what? I can't even see the. Uh, a gentleman the, uh, with a white t shirt, white Victory t shirt standing Oh, that could be Nick. That could be Nick Chubb. Okay, yeah. Um, so, Nick, yeah, Nick has been also using our product since his rookie year. And we actually uh, signed a, an endorsement deal with Nick. Um, he was attracted to our print, our product again for performance reasons, but uh, we were attracted to him because we learned that his mom has been in the healthcare business for over 20 years. And we just launched earlier this year a uh, Victory for Heroes program where we give away free pairs of Victory insoles to healthcare workers and first responders. In wow. fact, I think since we started the program in April, we've given away 600 to 700 insoles. And Nick is obviously, you know, very generous himself and uh, wanted to be part of that. That's wonderful. That's a great way to give back too, and, and to yeah. uh, uh, to evangelize the product at the grassroots level to people who might not hear of it unless they're an athlete themselves. Right. Now, you said that you joined the company in 2015 and you started marketing it a, a real, a, um, officially in 2016, really getting the, the uh, the the marketing going how many you said a uh, number of over 300 athletes and 300 teams are, are, are involved where is the greatest concentration of athletes is it in track is it in volleyball is it in um, basketball is it in soccer what yes yeah, so it's a good question i think for the most part you know the, the biggest chunk of our business is in basketball and in volleyball um, jumping sports where everybody's looking for that extra inch or two. Sure. Um, but we do have a big uh, portion of our sales in run in uh, football, in baseball, uh, lacrosse, uh, essentially any sport where an athlete is wearing shoes and pushing against the ground as part of the sport, they can benefit from our product. But, um, you know, one of the challenges we've had this year, our primary uh, point of, of our core marketing had been to the younger athlete who was playing a lot of team sports. So typically middle school, high school, college. And this year, obviously, it's been challenged with COVID-19, where a lot of those sports have been either postponed or canceled. So what we've done is we've actually pivoted towards the individual activities and uh, sport, so sports like running, distance running, uh, sports like uh, fitness, just staying in shape. And one of the most surprising ones has been golf, actually, oh, where uh, we've increased our, our percent of sales in golf from zero <laughs> one year ago to 10 percent of our sales now. That's and it's wonderful. again, that's a great one that you mentioned, Jim, you mentioned word of mouth. We have some of the uh, PGA pros who learned about our product and decided to tell their friends, their fellow golfers. Yeah. And uh, now it's it's definitely caught on. And the reason why our product helps, I kind of sh demonstrated the explosiveness earlier, but it's the, it's the stability and it's the energy return and energy transfer. So as an athlete is swinging uh, from the, he wants that energy to go from the back foot to the front uh, foot as quickly as possible. So it's something called rate of force development. And because of our product, we're seeing golfers tell us they're getting 10 to 20 yards more in distance. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah. Well, we are going to take a quick break, but before we do, um, we're going to be showing a video uh, from Victory Gear uh, as we go into our commercial break. And Steve, you want to just describe what we're going to be seeing in this video? Yeah, sure. You, you actually get to see the founder, Matt Archiola, and uh, we had actually... Uh, traveled around, done a lot of meetings, and we typically said the meeting doesn't officially start until Matt flips a shoe. <laughs> and so, you know, we wanted, we came up with what we thought was a creative way to demonstrate energy return and the explosiveness that Victory Insoles can provide to athletes. So the video you're about to see has been seen, I think has over 80 million views now at this point. So one of the founders said to me originally, hey, you know, do us a favor, make us a video that'll go viral. <laughs> and as you know, that's easier said than done, but we were able to come up with it. And uh, now to some degree, we're known as the shoe flip company. I love it. Well, we'll look forward to seeing that video in a few moments and uh, we'll be back after these, this video and some commercial messages. We'll be right back.
game changer. So, I got this new family. And I don't know what it is about this one, but she can't seem to put down that toy all day long. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, and she even talks to it. She talks to that more than she talks to him. What's up, bro? Nice shirt. Who's she talking to? Her mom? She talks to her mom a lot. Why buy local? When you shop with local businesses, you're spending your money on more than just the item you're buying. You're adding a building block to your neighborhood. It starts with a single purchase, maybe a cup of coffee, groceries from a local co-op, or even a shiny new bicycle from one of the nearly 28 million small businesses nationwide. Your money doesn't stay in the till for long, though. Local business owners use the money to create a lot of economic activity in your neighborhood, like buying from suppliers, many of whom are also local businesses paying taxes to the city, which builds and maintains the infrastructure we all rely on, employing local workers, contributing to 65% of the net new jobs each year. Add this all together and you've got a recipe for a happier, healthier, more connected neighborhood. Now that's an investment worth making. Welcome back to Press Conference on RVN TV. My guest today is uh, Steve Wasik from Victory Gear. That's uh, V-K-T-R-Y Gear. And uh, Steve, before the break, we were talking about the, uh, because of the COVID-19 pandemic and some of the uh, issues that affected team sports and uh, on all levels of, of uh, competition, with high schools canceling or postponing or, or moving seasons, uh, with the college teams closing down for the year, uh, pro teams not starting up for a certain period of time, and the Olympics being delayed by a full year. Obviously, that impact impacted your business in a great way, but you mentioned that you had kind of done some pivoting with um, the, the HEROES initiative, but also with yeah. the healthcare initiative. Could you talk about a little bit what you did uh, to pivot the business in this time? Yeah, sure, absolutely. So, you know, what we wanted to do is you know, we thought it might be uh, come across as uh, uh, insensitive if we were out there telling athletes and their parents, hey, you can jump higher, you can run faster. And, you know, the, unfortunately that, you know, we've got COVID going on, we've got the, the racial issue in America. So what we decided to do was really just tell the athletes and their parents that, you know, victory insoles can keep you healthy. And at this point, we, you know, everybody wants to stay safe. Nobody wants to wind up in the hospital over a sprained ankle or a twisted knee. So we really promoted that um, with, both with Victory for, for Heroes, uh, the program we started in April with Nick Chubb and athletes like Angel McCautry as well. She's been uh, instrumental. Um, but we also wanted to make sure we had done our homework in the area of uh, injury protection so that we could back up our claims. Jim, you mentioned earlier that we had, you know, 41% less foot and toe injuries with our product and 22% less lower leg injuries. That was a field study, as you mentioned, with four colleges and 263 athletes. But most athletic trainers and frankly, all sports medicine professionals, uh, they can be a bit skeptical and they wanna see sure. clinical research. So the nice thing about our product is we did a study with the Corey Stringer Institute uh, that just wrapped up a few months ago. And uh, it was a very in-depth PhD-led study. And they found that our product helps in terms of added support stability and shock absorption. And they basically, after completing the study, they were able to make the claim that our product will reduce injuries. So we were excited to get that. We sure. have another prestigious institute. It's Harvard Mass General who studied our product for uh, toe injuries and toe conditions, things like uh, hallux limitus and hallux rigidus. That's a technical term, but it's kind of like turf toe. Sure. And they found that our product reduced or improved pain management by seven times of what uh, some of the other products out there had done. And our product of all the patients that they tested had 100% compliance versus the control group, which only had 50%. So that's a, a long way for saying that we've got some really prestigious institutes telling us that our products will help people both in injury protection as well as injury recovery. Interesting. So that's a great way to kind of 
keep the the individual athlete aware of things and, and while they're training because a lot of them had to go and train on their own uh, sure. they weren't with their teams they weren't with their coaches but they were doing things via zoom at home and things like that so obviously there's a great benefit to them if they can stay healthy and stay at the top of their game while they're waiting for everybody else to come back together yeah, absolutely. And we've had a lot of anecdotal evidence. We've had athletes, you know, big name athletes like you know, Anthony Miller of the Chicago Bears, who was coming off a list Frank injury. And actually his mom contacted us and said she found our product and uh, and we were able to get him the product in time for his pro day, which is like the NFL combine yeah. at his college, Memphis. And he performed very well during his pro day and he's been using our product since then. So it helped him get through you know, a, a tough injury, a very tough injury. And now he wears it to protect himself from any further injuries. And we have a lot of both, you know, pro college, as well as, uh, you know, uh, weekend warriors who use our product for that reason. Now, uh, are there more Olympic athletes you think going to come, come, come your way as well because of the success with the bobsled team and, and uh, maybe some other Olympic sports? But, uh, we, obviously, track and field would be one. Volleyball what is another one, Olympic sport. Are there other applications you think that they can be used for in uh, amateur sports, if you will? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we do have a lot of track and field athletes who use our product. Um, one of the things that when I think of track and field, I also think of the NFL combine because sure. things are timed. You know, your, your vertical is measured, your broad jump is measured. And um, so those types of sports where they're trying to, you know, achieve their personal best. Again, we've had a lot of great anecdotal stories from, you know, athletes who are now pros. But yeah, as far as the amateur athletes go, you know, distance runners, in fact, <laughs> my neighbor, um, has actually been using our product and he's a pretty serious runner and he said he's been able to improve his mile times by 20 seconds which is significant That's you fantastic. know if you can run a mile in yeah. four minutes or let's say five minutes uh, but you can reduce it by 20 seconds and and feel that extra spring that extra bounce so again we've done some studies it's not final but our product because it actually propels the athlete forward you can actually lengthen the stride during running which means if you're running a 10K or a marathon, you actually take less strides. So there's less pounding, you know, you're, let's say, flying through the air sure. more. Uh, so that's better for the athlete's time as well as for the pounding on the body. First thing I thought of, and I mentioned this to you in a prior conversation, the first thing I thought of when I saw the flip video was the vibranium uh, recoil in, in Black Panther movie when uh, whenever he, he would get hit in his costume and it would just kind of absorb the energy and bounce it back at the, at the guy who had thrown the punch or the kick. <laughs> I, just, I think it's just phenomenal that, that uh, to see that demonstrated like that. What are some of the reactions that you get from just a layman that sees that or, or somebody that's seeing it for the first time? What are some of the reactions that people give you? Yeah, well, that's a good question. I mean, one of the biggest challenges of our business has been that, you know, this product, this Victory insole, most insoles are just made from foam and plastic. And our product is so unique because of this carbon fiber base. And so I certainly, as a marketer, I love to have a very unique product and something that's, you know, unlike anything out there. Um, now, on the challenging side is you get a lot of lay people you know, the weekend warriors or even the elite athletes who are skeptical. You know, sure. if you tell somebody that this product is going to help you run faster and jump higher, the typical reaction is, come on, man, I've heard that before. Is it going to make me look prettier and live longer too? Come on. So, um, and there is a lot of puffery out there in the sports world in general. Right. So that's one of the reasons why we have to have, you know, product endorsements. We have to have research and we also offer a money back guarantee. So we put our money where our mouth is and it's not just a, you know, a, a two week money back guarantee. It's a 90 day, a three month money back guarantee. So we tell people, if you really don't believe it, try it. And the nice thing again is that the product works and people feel it immediately. Sure. And we have a return rate that's less than 5% right now. So clearly, you know, customers love it. Now, um, what's the future like for, for you guys? I mean, we're, we're here at the, in the fourth quarter of 2020. We've got, uh, 
the election happening, we've got uh, COVID-19 pandemic happening, we've got changes in the sports calendar right and left, uh, teams that played uh, football in the fall are now moving to the spring, teams that are playing in the fall are having their schedules reduced. Um, what is next for Victory Sports, excuse me, Victory Gear in 2021 and beyond? Yeah, that's, and I'll go back to a point I just made in terms of one of the challenges of the business is certainly consumer skepticism. You got to prove your product. And another challenge when you have an aerospace grade carbon fiber product like ours, um, and we also make our product in the USA. So therefore the cost, the price is, is high. Uh, sure. It's a highly engineered product. This piece that I showed you before, which looks like a single piece is actually this one is five layers of carbon fiber that's put together. Wow. It takes over two hours in an autoclave to make this product. So it's a pretty highly engineered, sophisticated product. But the point I'm going to make is that it's expensive. So sure. our product retails for $199. Okay. And compared to most insoles on the market, you know, the Dr. Scholl's at right. $20 or Superfeed at $50, you know, we're super premium priced. So one of the things we wanted to do was introduce a lower price product. So this is our silver line. So now our original product is our gold line. This is 100% aerospace grade carbon fiber. The silver line is actually a, uh, a composite, a carbon fiber composite. So we've been able to make it a little less expensively and to reduce our price to customers. So this product typically now, will, the silver product will retail for around $99, okay. so about half of what the gold does. So we're excited to be able to, you know, come up with a product that's more affordable, more accessible to more people. I think that's the biggest news we have in 2021. And we also have some other products in the pipeline that we're excited about that, you know, we'll share that news uh, probably in the next uh, four to six months. That's interesting though. I, pre I, I, I uh, commend you for coming up with uh, a second line like that uh, to uh, for a more um, consumer friendly use. And as you said, the weekend warriors get a, can use it and, and test it out. And if they really like the silver line, they can they can move up to the gold line. Absolutely, now absolutely. Some of we, that. we even offer uh, another product, which um, this is breaking news, Jim. Um, <laughs> we're going to call it the platinum line, and that is a custom. Uh, orthotic with this victory carbon fiber plate built into the bottom so if you're familiar with custom orthotics sure. we would send a foam box out to the customers they would put their feet in it create a mold send it back to us we create a custom orthotic with the carbon fiber plate so you have the benefits of custom orthotics which really help people in terms of alignment or if they've got a disparity in leg length and then you've got the carbon fiber plates, which provide the shock absorption, the added support stability, and the propulsion. So the best of all worlds. That sounds like something that's going to really take off. I think. Don't tell anybody. Jim. I, I, I'll, I'll keep it under my hat. Oh wait a minute, we just have this on tape. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, Steve, I really want to thank you for taking your time with us today. I think it's a fantastic product. Uh, I think you're doing a great job. Uh, if com if our viewers want to uh, experience the product and they want to reach out to you, what's the, the uh, website that they go to? Yeah, thanks, Jim. Uh, the website is victorygear.com. That's V-K-T-R-Y gear.com. And I suppose the other big news is that we are doing a capital raise starting in January. So Wonderful. one of the things we need to do is just get the word out there to let people know about our product. Because when people hear about Victory Insoles, they want to try them. And then when they try them, they tend to typically like them. We have a 95% customer satisfaction rating. So if there are people out there who would be interested in investing in the company, by all means, you know, write to us at uh, info at victorygear.com. And then we will, uh, we will reply to you. Thank you, Steve, for that, and I appreciate that. If anybody wants to reach out to Steve, either through the methods he described, or if you, if you forget them, you want to reach out to me, jim at jhdenterprises.com. My phone is 215 266 5943. I'll be happy to put you in touch with Steve. And uh, really, again, thank you very much for being on the show today. And I thank you for watching. Uh, we look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon. I want to remind you that if you have a story that you'd like to tell, I'm looking forward to hearing it. Give me a holler by phone or by email. And I look forward to seeing you all again here very, very soon. Have a good day.